hello everyone okay so let's provide the solution to this problem half of y plus 2 to the power of 4 equals 8 so what do you think will be the first step remember this 2 here is the same okay let me rewrite y plus 2 to the power of 4 all over 2 okay this right here and this are the same this is equal to 8 so that means I can cross multiply now right so that y plus 2 to the power of 4 will be equal to 2 times 8 and that is 16 by the way do you know that we can now write 16 in this form so y plus 2 to the power of 4 okay let me write it let's write 16 as 4 squared so that I can now apply difference of two squares so I have to work on this power so we have y plus 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 2 again being equal to 16 which is now 4 squared if we bring this to the left, we will now have difference of two squares. But before then, let's expand what we have here. Okay. If we have a plus b squared, this is a squared plus a b plus b squared. Okay. By the way, this is supposed to be 2ab, right? Okay, so we have 2ab there. So now our y plus 2 squared is going to be a squared, which will now be y squared plus 2ab. That will be 2 times y times 2. That is 4y. Then plus b squared. That will be 2 squared. And it's 4. Now this is what is in the bracket now. The power outside is appearing here. And everything is 4 squared. So if I have y squared plus 4y plus 4 to the power of 2 minus 4 to the power of 2 equals 0, I can apply difference of 2 squares. Remember this again, a squared minus b squared is called difference of 2 squares. And if you express this in this form, it is very correct okay so we can express this this in this form so if we do that now this will be our a which is y squared plus 4y then plus 4 this right here is our a then plus b our b is 4 so I'll write 4 here this is what we have in the first bracket in the second, we are going to have y squared plus 4y plus 4. That is our a, y squared plus 4y plus 4. Then we have minus 4, right? Let me cut this. We have minus 4 and everything is equal to 0. From here, we are going to have y squared plus 4y plus 8 this plus this is 8 in this first bracket then in the second we have y squared plus 4y then 0 4 minus 4 is 0 so we equate this to 0 2 now let's continue okay so from here now it is either y squared plus 4y plus 8 is equal to 0 or y squared plus 4y is equal to 0. Right? So now I would work on this first before going to the other equation. From here now, our a is 1, b is 4, and then c is 8. Now, there's a formula we call quadratic formula. It is x minus b plus or minus 
square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So our x will now be minus b, which will be minus 4. Plus or minus, we have b squared. Our b squared it will be um, 4 squared. Then minus, we have 4 times 1 times 8. Because a is 1 and c is 8. All of this is over 2. So our x will now be minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 32. How did I get that? 4 times 1 times 8 is 32 divided by 2. So our x will be minus 4 plus or minus square root of negative 32. This is divided by 2. This is divided by 2 so that our x will be minus 4 plus or minus. I want to pick out the negative so we have square root of 32 times square root of negative 1. Everything is divided by 2. So our x is now minus 4 plus or minus. We have square root of 32 is 16 times 2. Then times i. Because square root of negative 1 is i. We divide all of this by 2. So if we go ahead, our x is going to be minus 4 plus or minus 4 root 2 times i. 4 root 2 times i because square root of 16 is 4. This root 2 is coming out. And we divide all of this by 2. Okay, just like this. We can rewrite this to get minus 4 plus or minus. We have 4 times i, that will be 4i. Then we have root 2 divided by 2. This can go there, the same 2 will go here. So our x will be minus 2 plus or minus, we have 2i root 2. This is a 2 in 1 solution, so our x is either minus 2 plus 2i root 2 or x equals minus 2 minus 2i root 2. So from here we have the first um, solutions. Right, but then there is an equation we left out. If you can recall, y squared plus 4y equals 0. This is still the quadratic equation, but it does not have the constant. So we can factorize directly. So we get y here plus 4. This is equal to 0. So it's either y is 0 or y plus 4 equals 0. So y here remains 0 or y equals 0 minus 4. So our y is equal to 0 or y equals minus 4. So therefore y is equal to 0 or minus 4. Okay, so we have solved the equation completely. Thank you for watching.